City Skylines. In the last episode, we actually started to build. I mean, we find we actually finished to build this really really cool new highway, which should also help us to prevent traffic problems, which is always good news. Like seriously, always. Good news. And what else? Okay, uh, we also start to expand more and more and more this neighborhood right here but the probably the thumbnail and the title was like new highway or something so oh let me find right here okay that would that's a, that's supposed really weird like seriously really weird <laughs> i'm like i even like i'm even like what the heck was that <laughs> Okay, Jesus. Um, let me think this through. Our income is actually going down, which is not a good thing, honestly. Yeah, no, really. I'm thinking now to put down some. some commercial buildings here. And maybe even. some, uh. Somebody, me, 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 me. some residential zones. Hmm. Why not? Yeah, let's do it. Right there. And we can also go um, blah, 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 blah. right here. Yeah. There we go. I want to do like like a twin neighborhood, which is not perfect. <laughs> Definitely not. But it works. That was really matters. Just like that. Well, on the way to the end. Oh, there's people actually starting to move, which is always good news. Before I actually let them finish moving, I just need to do something real quick. That. And okay, I've messed up, but anyways, let's take a look. It's all fine on this side. Yes, it is. I've definitely messed up. I need, I need to put down some parks that are on that side over there. Okay, let me delete this real quick. There we go. And we can put some more commercial down here. Why not? I've totally messed up on this side. Like seriously. Not even funny. Wait a second. Where can I actually put this? Okay, it's right here. There we go. Then we can pull out like another one. Right here. There we go. That looks cool. It's cool. <laughs> that sounds weird. It's cool. Yeah, that's probably not how you say it. Honestly, and some more volleyball courses, right? I mean, on this side I haven't done just yet. So I might just go and do that right now. Go into this right there. Right here. Another one right there, and another one right here. Okay, you guys can uh, keep expanding. There we go. And we can put like some tennis courses right here. Yeah, I think that's actually probably the best idea. Do something different down the side. There we go. Yeah, that looks cool. And it's going to increase the land value by like 100%. Like 100%, literally. <laughs> yeah, not literally, because it was already super high this side and as you can see there is some building some places over here <coughs> which is the land value is not really high honestly so yeah more that <laughs> let's take a look here uh why am i farting so much land value okay land value here is eh. where here it's starting to increase by a lot the land value over here is really high like jesus that's really high. 
over here is also really high. Look at this. It's so green that it's not even funny. It's starting to become yellow. <laughs> I'm kidding. Over here, it's, like, it's just fine. It's like, eh. Not that height. But it's not bad. It's just fine. Is the water being able to get it? Eh. Not really. It's eh. <laughs> it's not okay. Uh, they should start um, expanding, like by their own. As you can see, it's it's fine right now. So while they are actually doing that, we can start connecting this matter station. That's probably also going to increase the demand. So they're going to start doing more and more and more. Right here. Yeah, outside. Okay. Let's trick the system real quick. Yeah, that's how you do it. And let's go all the way down over there. Okay, we can actually pass. There we go. <laughs> all the way down to that side. We are probably not going to pull like any lines right now. But I want to do it. Because by right here we actually don't have any metro stations. It's just like not ideal. But in the future I actually want to start putting metro stations on the old city. Because right now the old city doesn't have any metro stations. Which is not good. Like not good at all. This one we can take it and connect it right there. Perfect. Then we can go and create a new line, which goes. Wait a second. My nose is so itchy. That's not even funny. There we go. It's a lot better. Uh, if you watched the last episode, we will probably know there was a car honking. I don't know. I don't even know if you guys heard it, but it sounded like. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh. He, he was honking. He wasn't like a, an alarm. That was that was sounded so weird. That's not even funny. Like seriously, I was like, "Dang, girl, relax." And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm getting crazy here. And then uh, after the episode, I decided, okay, let's take a look. Who actually did that? Like seriously, you wanna die? No, I'm kidding. I just wanted to see what was actually going on outside. Then it was just like the mom of my neighbor. I don't know why she did that. Started honking like crazy. Felt like uh, someone died or something. Because seriously, she was honking so hard. That was not even funny. Okay, from here, can we connect? Oh yes, we can. There we go. That looks cool. Ah, oh, it's so itchy my nose, man. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I feel I feel like I'm actually crazy. Like seriously. After I actually got to know Christ, I got like this. I mean, not crazy, you know. If people can be like, ah, uh -huh, I told you guys, uh, knowing Christ, it's something that's bullshit. It's Something that you should not do. No, not really. You should do it. Like seriously, it he helps me so much every single day. That's not even funny. It helps me go through a lot of stuff, and the Bible helps me out a lot. Like seriously, it teaches me how to do a lot of stuff in my life. Okay, the game saving. Let me pause the game real quick. Even uh, today, I was reading like a devotional. I, try, I don't know if you guys know it. It means like it's something that you do daily. It's like a time that you spend to read more of the Bible, like get to know more of the God and actually talk with Him. Like seriously, talk and He responds to you. So 
so if it's not right on the time but if it's like a circumstance or even using other people which is fine but it was today talking about like okay you want to change but if you want to change you gotta change the way you think in the way you see yourself because like let's say you were young and people said that you were worthless you were dumb and sometimes some people actually believe that they go like okay I'm dumb um, people don't like me and I'm just like that that's how I am and people start uh, living like that but with Christ he can change that he can change the mindset he can renew your mind it makes that go away that was what I read today like seriously that was pretty cool he helped me so much because I'm going through some problems in my life like I'm addicted some, to some stuff no, not drugs not addicted to drugs you can, be, you can relax come on relax I'm not addicted to drug <laughs> But some other stuff, like some man stuff, normally. And like seriously, I couldn't stop on my own. I was trying so hard, but when I got tempted, I just couldn't say no. Which is, it's a problem, you know. When you can't say no to something, it's a problem. Like seriously, you should see some help if that actually happens. And with that, it's helping me so much to go through that because it's changed my mindset my mindset because the problem was I didn't I couldn't win against that because in my mind oh, I already lose lost against that thing and with that uh, devotional I got like okay so the problem was not that because I wasn't strong enough or that God didn't give me strength to win against that but was because in my mindset I already lost so there is like anything that can happen for me to win against that I, I, I already have like the win against that thing but if you are mine just say that you already lost there's no way you win this so that's why you need to change your mind like I, that works also with YouTube and with all of all other stuff. Because people say, they tend to say, dude, you're not going to get it. This is not going to work. You can do it. That's how, what people do. Like, seriously. And if you don't change your mindset, because that can, that can get you. People can say, okay, you won't get this. And you believe that. And then you... Just start feeling down and suddenly just stop doing videos. But if you actually change your mindset, let God help you with that. You can go through that and say, hell to that. And just keep going. Because you know, you know where, where you want to get. You know where God wants you put, to put you. So yeah, that's uh, <laughs> what I actually wanted to talk with you guys today. Okay, let's get back to the game, because I was talking so much there and <laughs> stop focusing over here. So right now we have the meter chain over here working like a charm, which by the way looks so freaking nice. This neighborhood is so big that's not even funny. Let's take a look how many abandoned buildings do we have. There's okay, we're 400 abandoned buildings, which I'm not going to delete them. <laughs> that's so much that's not even funny. We need like 2,000 for us to unlock the cathedral. That would be cool. This huge medieval church took over 100 years to build. It's no, it's no wonder that it's still the largest cathedral in Europe. I mean, so that means if I actually put down the cathedral right here, it's going to take like 100 years. Seems legit. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I am really kidding right now. Uh, let me see. 
what can we do? I mean, there's some um, burn down buildings which we can take care of like right now. Wait a second. Oh, not that one. This one. There we go. Can like we put a? Yeah, let's put this guy right here. Oh, there's one right there. Why is burning out? Jesus, man. Jesus. <laughs> it seriously makes me want to cry. Like, Jesus, man. This, this game is so broke. That is not even funny. Sometimes the fireman doesn't even try to put out the fire. Like, seriously. They don't even try to do it. Oh, there's so many cars here. Look at that. That is massive, bro. That is massive. Okay, at least our income is actually going up back again. That is really good. Living here, that's probably not, not a good idea. Having this um, trains going all day long. Uh, probably not good. Probably not. <laughs> what I actually think want to do in the next episode is to create a train line like not connect them to here no oh hell no oh hell no <laughs> but create like some mini stations like here like another one here another one like somewhere up here we can actually go and put like somewhere over here like another one up there and there and there and just create like just one track so we can actually go and build like a train line. I think that would be a good idea, right? I think so. Oh, they are trying to at least put out the fire here. At least they are trying it. I don't know if they are actually will be able to do it. Let's take a look. Come on guys, you can do this. Come on. I believe in you. I really do. Not really. Oh, they actually did. Perfect. Finally, finally, they actually put out the fire. Yeah, I figured that I need to put them uh, on some training because right now, not really working. Okay, this building already exists. Let's take a look on the other ones. Okay, yeah, this one never going to happen. Okay, this one is slowly going to fill because I've already put down all the cemeteries. And this one is actually really close. Probably when you start to expand down on this side and then like over here, which then we are going to run out of space. That is crazy. Like seriously. That would be really sad because then... Uh, sorry. Uh, I've just touched the, the microphone here. Then uh, we are actually going to run out of space. What are you going to do then? Like seriously. Jesus.